Ali Drew for seconds out with Carol Italma. Carol, how are you? Yeah, I'm great, obviously. Good to be out here again and competing. So we're in fight week, you're in the bubble. Um, how are you feeling about this weekend's show? I'm feeling really good to be honest with you. Like, I had a full camp this time around. Last time I only had uh, 10 days to get ready, so it's good to have a full camp and uh, perform on Saturday. And obviously, you only made your pro debut in December, um, and again, you're doing another behind closed doors show. Um, how did you find that? I suppose you wouldn't really know any different because the amateurs are very similar. Exactly that, but the way I'm taking it right now is for when doors open up again, it's like I'm having two debuts. I had one in December, and I'm taking it as I'm having another one when doors open up. So, you know, it's all about controlling the controllables and. That's it. And so now you've had a bit of time since your pro debut in December, what have you sort of learned and reflected back on from that fight? It's all about them mad, mar like marginal gains and you know learning and picking things up. So at the end of the day you're not going to make a massive leap, but if you take small steps forward it's going to make the bigger picture and that's what it's about, you know, improving, taking the luck, like, throwing my jab properly, moving off and stuff like that. And what kind of fight are you expecting on Saturday? More of a technical fight, yeah, like nothing, nothing that's messy, more like, like my style, I like clean, effective, technical boxing. After this fight, are you looking to, to come back and, and be active and have quite a lot of fights this year? We're getting out of Covid slowly, so are you hoping to be quite active? Yeah, absolutely, like, I spoke to our manager Francis and we are looking to be active this year, like get of like three before the end of the year, that'd be great. And then hopefully you'll be able to have a few of them with, with your supporters? Absolutely, like obviously like perhaps in like June, July time, perhaps that time, it'd be good to have like family and friends there. Are they just all on at you, like get me in straight away as soon as fans are allowed, I'm coming? Yeah, I'm, like, I'm lucky enough to have a great support team, like my family, my friends and that. So it'd be, it would be good to, for them to be there, yeah. And obviously as an amateur, you know, incredibly successful. When you turn pro, does that mean that you're more confident in the pros or does it bring a, a bit of pressure with it as well? I feel like the amateurs and the pros are two different things. That like, if you if you're doing if you're a good amateur, doesn't mean you're going to be a good professional. That's why I feel like when we when I turned pro, with me and my team really sat down, discussed everything, and made and we made everything clear that it's like we're starting again. So whatever happened in the amateurs, happened in the amateurs. We're starting again because at the end of the day, I want to get to my end goal, which is to be a world champion, and that means learning, 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 constant learning. And how are you finding being a professional boxer? You know, how are you finding the pro ranks? The way the way I've been training since I was a youth, it's like 2017, it hasn't been different. Like my SNC coaches, my my nutrition, my uh, my boxing, as it hasn't really changed since I was 17. So now we just kind of gets more serious in a sense, and things get more intense. So is it new to me? No, it isn't. But is there more at stake? Yes, it is. That's why. It, so I got to train harder. And what do you make of the sort of light heavyweight division domestically? It's, it's strong at the moment, and especially with Frank Warren fighters. Mm. Especially, and in the UK, like it's, it's a thriving division. So um, that's why I need to ensure that I'm learning, always developing in the gym. And like these fights that I'm coming, just take them as, I, as they come and learn so that in the next few years, I'll be up there. Well, best of luck for Saturday. Thank you for talking Thank to you. me. Thank you, I appreciate that.